Hey guys, welcome to Key Tech Tips. In the next three videos, we are going to discuss five basic to intermediate Windows 10 optimization tips. Stay tuned. These are a few advantages of using the tips that we talk about in today's video. There are two essential steps required before we proceed. The first one is creating a system restore point. Now a restore point is a saved snapshot of a computer's data at a specific time. Restore points are a component of the Windows System Restore utility. Now here's what Microsoft has to say about System Restore. So we click on Start, type Control Panel, get into Control Panels, System and Security. Then we click on System, which is the third option there. And on the left hand side, the last option, Advanced System Settings. We then click on System Protection, which is the fourth tab right on top and then we click on the system drive which is your C drive in most cases we click on configure the next page you should have system protection as on and then your disk space usage should be approximately four to five percent of your total storage space click on create give it a name and you have now created a restore point it is highly recommended that you create a system restore point before installing any new software or any time your PC undergoes a change. The second essential step is Windows Update. Now this is where we get the latest updates to keep the device running smoothly and securely. You can do this by clicking the Start button, type Update, and then you can check for updates in the Windows Updates screen. The Windows Update is used to keep Microsoft Windows and several other Microsoft programs updated. It is critical to install Windows security updates to protect your computer from malicious attacks. In the long run, it is also important to install software updates, not only to access new features, but also to be on the safe side in terms of security loopholes being discovered in outdated programs. Now as we are checking the updates available, Google this KB number and check the Microsoft link. This update is for February the 27th. Here you can check the quality and reliability improvements. You can check the prerequisites. On the left hand side are a few hyperlinks that will give you information about Windows updates that have taken place in the past few months or in the past few years. Feel free to look them up. Now there's another way you can look for a Windows update and that is by clicking on the start button again. Now you click on the settings gear icon. The following page you scroll right at the bottom to update and security and here you can get the same Windows update option that you got earlier. It is critical to install Windows security updates to protect your computer from malicious attacks. In the long run, it is also important to install software updates not only to access new features, but also to be on the safe side in terms of security loopholes being discovered in outdated programs. Moving on to section 2, which is general settings. Now we'll begin with system settings under the Windows settings tab. This looks a little clean, isn't it? The settings that we would be looking at today and making some changes will be system, personalization, apps, gaming, privacy, and update and security. So let's look at the first one, which is system. The first setting is display. So here we have nightlight. You can make a few changes in here. You can schedule the nightlight depending on the time that you want to keep it for, maybe for a couple of hours. Or if you don't use it at night at all, then maybe you can simply turn it off. Moving on, notification and icons. Now here you can make changes to the notifications. If you don't need them, you can simply turn all of them off. Now we move on to power and sleep. Now there are many settings in this option which are important and that could help you 
get more out of your computer. On this page, the first option is when plugged in. I would always keep this as never. If you're a laptop user, you want your screen to go off after a few minutes or a few hours when your laptop is plugged in or if you're running it off of your battery. On the right hand side, you'll have additional power settings. You can click on this to get a new page. And in this screen, if you click on show additional plans, you will have high performance there. Or you can create a power plan, which is the third option on the left hand side. Select any one of the power plans, name your power plan and click next and you'll be taken into the settings page. So let's use the high performance option which favors performance but may use more energy. But that's alright. Now again here you have turn off the display. Put the computer to sleep. Never. Now click on change advanced power settings. Over here, the first is turn off hard disk. I don't want my hard disk to go off anytime. So the settings shows 20 minutes. I will put that to never and type in zero. Scroll down to the bottom. The third last option, processor power management. Click on this. The minimum processor state needs to go to zero and you can leave the maximum processor state to 100%. Click on apply and OK. If you want to look at the power options, it's also in the control panel. All you need to do is on the right hand side top corner category. If you select large icons or small icons, you'll always have power options right there. But if you're on a category screen, click on large icons or small icons. Let's move on to storage. Now here is where you see all the hard drives connected to your computer. First up, the storage sense that's there right on the top. Storage sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temporary files and content in your recycle bin. Alright, I don't want Windows taking that call, I'll do it myself. Below storage sense, you will see your local disk, in most cases C drive with the amount of storage that you have. It'll give you information about all the apps that you have. At the bottom, you'll also see view storage usage on other drives. For example, you have a thumb drive, a flash drive, an external hard drive, etc. I prefer not to make changes to these settings. Here's one setting that I want to talk about, optimized drives. We'll get back to this. Like I said a little while ago, if you have any questions about the settings, on the right hand side, you can click on this link that says, do you have a question? And you will have all your questions answered. Let's move to the next one that is multitasking. Now here you work in multiple windows. I'll show you an example. I have three screens where I can multitask. I can drag and drop files. I can use the web browser all at once. You can either divide these screens into four or you can divide them as you like because this is snap to window. Now this is a feature that is inbuilt in Windows. You can leave these options as they are. Once again, you have help topics on the right hand side. And finally, you go to about. This is your Windows Defender information. You'll have your device specifications and your Windows specifications. And now you can click on home.